All right, guys, so um, here we are looking at uh, the next page of working on our um, statistic stuff. So last time, if you will recall, we um, had a data set of 12 numbers and um, that were measurements of a connector piece, and we wanted to see what they are. And these are what the measurements were. Um, of these pieces and now we're going to display this data in a histogram. So a histogram is a visual representation of your data. This is the example we talked about in class with measuring a wood cube that's supposed to be three-fourths of an inch and these are the measurements that we got ranging from 0.745 to 0.760 and the number of times each one of those occurred. And measures of central tendency would tell us that most of them are going to be towards the middle. Here's an example that we see of height. And of course, height has two actual things. If you consider that um, females tend to be less tall than males, um, there is a I can't remember what the college is that's been doing this human histogram for years and years and years. Um, women in white, men in um, blue to show there's that kind of peak that shows up. Um, so um, this tells you again that most are going to be towards the middle. So first we have to set up our bins, which means that we're going to have essentially the sizes, the uh, range that they will fit into. So if we look at this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different values. If we take a look at our, our sheet that we have, um, the horizontal is going to have all of those values. Now, if we count across, there just happens to be 28 squares which works out really well so um there are seven values 28 divided by seven is four so let's go ahead and mark off every four just put a little tick mark and we're going to then label what each one of these is so by size the first one is how many are 3.8 how many are 3.9 how many are 4.0 how many are 4.1 4.2 4.3 and 4.4 okay now the most that any of them occur is three so let's go up let's see if we can do five Five, not quite. So we'll go four. So it's a little hard to find our way in here. So here's one value right there at four up. So eight up will be two and 12 up will be three times that any one of those occurs. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our graph our histogram um, and in a histogram those um, bars should be touching each other so there are um, there's one 3.8 I believe there are two 3.9s and continue to make your graph on a cross. Pause the video while you do that. And just because I felt like it, I went ahead and hatched it. You can color it. You can make this look uh, however you want to make it look um, and make it pretty. All right. So next, it's asking us to, um, to label our axes. So let's go ahead and do this. This is, um, this was length in centimeters that we measured okay now it's a little hard to fit it over there so let's just uh, kind of fit this in wherever we can and let's call this frequency that way okay we'll squeeze it in there all right so um now it says what class interviews or range of values did you choose and why? Um, and we chose each measurement. For fit. 
let's just write that in there just for fun. Um, really later on, we're going to talk about what do you do when you have a range of, you know, 20 and is it all always going to match out? We should have somewhere between seven and 11 or so bins is what works really well for this. If you get too many, it starts spreading out the data. And if you get too few, like that slideshow showed, it, it doesn't give you good representation of what you've got. Um, so this shows us pretty well. Again, it's kind of bell curve shape, right? Which makes it look like it might be a normal distribution. And now we're gonna identify and, uh, and label the mean the mean plus one standard deviation, the mean plus two standard deviations, and then the mean minus one and minus two. All right, here we go. We'll start with the mean. The mean was 4.07, if we remember right. Let me look there. Yes. Um, so if we consider the middle of this bar to be 4.0 and the middle of that bar to be 4.1, 4.07 is somewhere in the neighborhood of here-ish. Um, so what I'd like you to do is we're going to draw a horizontal line right about there. I'm going to come up here and we're going to label that as the mean. If you've got colored pencils, it would be cool for you to use them here. In fact, I may do that. All right, a little hard to see, but I colored that in with a blue pen. That is blue. Uh, it's hard to see with the camera. Um, and then we need to subtract um, one, the, our, our, uh, our standard deviation was 0.17. So each four is one, two, three, four is one. And then I think three after that is close enough. Um, that would be 0.66. One, two, three ish is 0.17. So I'm going to use a different color there. Um, so that's the mean minus 0.17. So this is the mean or the the mean, sorry, I need to make my weird looking U, the mean minus a standard deviation. Okay, one. By the way, this means one times the standard deviation. Okay, so the same distance away, which is about uh, one, two, three, four is one, and one, two, three ish is almost to the 4.2 is the mean plus a standard deviation. So on one side is the mean minus the standard deviation. On the other side is the mean plus a standard deviation. Okay. Now if we go, um, let's see. So we, we're going a mean plus two standard deviations would be plus 0.24. Um, so that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, that's two and 0.4 would be a little bit. Okay. Am I messing this up? Hold on. When in doubt, let's do the math here. So it's um, 4.07 is the mean plus 2 times the standard deviation. And 7 equals, whoops, we had it already in there, um, was point, point 0.34. I hate this calculator sometimes. Hold on, let me do that one again. Um, sorry, bear with me. 4.0. Sorry, the mean was, yes, 4.07 plus two times a standard deviation, which was 0.17. So that gives us 0.34. Oh, I had yeah, it right the first time. So 0.34 plus 4.07 
is 4.41. So 4.41 would be if this is this if this is 4.4, 4.41 would be a little bit almost off the charts over here. We're just a little bit past it, a little bit past the middle, right about there. I'm going to do a different color over here. How about green? So just, we're estimating here. So just on the, just north of the middle of that is going to be the mean plus two standard deviations. Now over here, if we're going the same amount over, if we're going about, um, let's see, if we're going down, let's go ahead and figure that one out. Now we're going uh, 4.07 minus two times the standard deviation equals 3.73. Now that is going to be way over here because 3.8 starts here. 3.7 would be over here. So let's go ahead and um, let's just make ourselves a note um, that, that the mean Plus, whoops, minus, sorry, the mean minus two standard deviations is off the chart. All right, so we can't even find it. Sorry if I'm being a little messy there. That says that the mean minus two standard deviations is off the chart. Be neater than your teacher. All right. So what is this telling us? Well, it's telling us if we accept everything that's within two standard deviations of the mean, um, and a standard deviation is, is um, what most of our data should fit into. Two standard deviations starts to get a little bit away from it, and then things start getting a little bit off after that. Um, so this is telling us that just about everything is normal, but this one piece over here is, is abnormally large. It's more than two standard deviations away from the mean. And if we were in a manufacturing where we need everything to be within a certain spec, we might end up rejecting this one and find out why it's making something that big. Um, so later on when we have some different data, we'll explore this a little bit more. And this stuff down here um, that we normally would do when we're in the classroom, we're going to skip. We just kind of don't have time for that. So you can go ahead and cross this out. But we will be do doing some statistics with a spreadsheet next. So that will be the next video. All right, you're going to take a picture of um, this page and uh, turn that in. And then we'll get started on spreadsheet stuff.